Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, hello, I'm Lydia. And if you are new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button, join the growing family. I'm aiming to hit 10k by the end of the year. And it'd mean a lot to me if you could help me reach that goal. Today, we're talking about BPD versus bipolar disorder. Now, I'm diagnosed both with BPD or EUPD, as it's now referred to, and bipolar disorder. First of all, let's go over some of the key differences between bipolar and borderline personality disorder. With bipolar, you have to have either a manic or hypermanic episode that lasts for at least a week. BPD, your emotions change very quickly and it's you can be happy one minute, depressed the next. There's no long term, long, there's no long, what's the word I'm looking for? There's not a long term, not a long, Oh my god. It doesn't last as long for episodes. Yes, people might say, but I'm depressed all the time. But you have, the thing is, BPD is you have moments where you want to die and then the next one you couldn't be happier. So that's the first major difference between the two. BPD is a disorder that has impulsivity, lack of insight, recklessness, emotionally unstable. Hence why it's now called Emotionally Unstable Personality Disorder. I don't use that term, I don't like it. I use BPD, but... Whereas with bipolar, you, you have the recklessness, but it's for an extended period of time. Like, if you're manic, you may spend all your money, which I've done this year. I had a manic episode in January where I bought a new camera and I bought a weighted blanket that cost me £300. What else did I buy? I bought Switch games. Shock horror. I've got 60 games for my Switch. Most of them are still in their original packaging. Because I, I'm learning Russian at the minute. And I've been learning Russian over playing video games. Because I want to be fluent in Russian. Because I want to translate stuff in Orange is the New Black without having to read subtitles. And because I think it's kind of cool language. Anyway, that's not what I was talking about today. With Mania and and bipolar disorder as a whole it lasts for at least a week i've been in manic episodes in the past that have lasted a month and yes i was hospitalized for it bpd is treated more by therapy dbt in particular bipolar is usually medicated for instance i'm on lithium a thousand milligrams i'm on haloperidol the thing is with bpd and bipolar disorder is they're commonly misdiagnosed as each other because they have a lot of similarities. For instance, mood changes that happens in both disorders. One's longer, one's shorter. On the whole, people get diagnosed with BPD first and then their bipolar is found out. For me, I was diagnosed with bipolar when I was 13. So I had that diagnosis a lot longer than I had BPD as a diagnosis. I was briefly undiagnosed with BPD and I got re-diagnosed last year. One thing that affects me with BPD is impulsivity. But yeah, there are a lot of differences between BPD and bipolar. And that's all I've got for this video. I know it's not long and I know there's a lot more that I could cover, but I don't have any notes for this video. I'm going off the top of my head. So I will make part two if there's anything I have missed. Let me know in the comments down below if you want me to do part two. And I'll have notes for that. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. And like I said at the start, if you're new, subscribe. Peace.